السلام عليكم السلام عليكم وصلى الله على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم تسمية كثيرة كثيرة Peace be upon you. I'm here to speak about a visit to the the shrine or the tomb of the great Muslim Sufi saint Sidi Abdul Salam Ibn Mashish or Ibn Mashish known in Morocco as Mawlay Abdul Salam and uh, of course known to the adherents to of the Shazali Sufi order um, and I'm not speaking as a, a person representing Sufism or as a person representing any um, level of faith or status uh, faith teaching or anything of like that I'm just speaking as an individual of my personal experience on this journey so um, as I said the Sheikh resided in Morocco um, as I as I understand was born in Morocco and and died in Morocco and there are videos available and there are books available that go into the history of the Sheikh I'm not going to actually deal with that um, but the point is in order to access this location you have to go to the northern part of Morocco which is called Tetuan and this is a very uh, popular area because it's near Spain and other touristy areas like Martil and Mediac and and these popular Castillos is called popular uh, tourist locations with um, good uh, number of uh, visitors annually so um, when you get to Tetuan you have to then go up a huge mountain into the area called uh, Beni Aros or until you reach the area called Moe Al Salam and it, depending on the road taken over the years it could take anywhere from four hours to two hours to it, it all depends on whether you're going by a private car a taxi a bus etc but what is extremely amazing is the view I mean it's uh, subhanAllah it's such a, a lovely view of the, the nature and such a huge contrast from the city that you just left below meaning Tetuan uh, it's like entering another world and uh, that must have some sort of effect upon you psychologically uh, and then when you reach the, uh, the uh, tomb what will amaze you is that you could not find this place um, empty not even because of um, coronavirus or something like that no and uh, people are constantly in supplication prayer and dhikr and reading Quran and uh, singing and uh, whatever uh, you see happy faces you see people uh, to trying to heal people you see people in self-reflection you see uh, and all around you is this amazing nature amazing nature that um, really grabs hold of your your spirit as you look out and you, you see the vast hills and uh, the mist and the fog sometimes it seems like you're in the clouds that's how high up it is and um, the, the people are, are very kind and um, it's uh, I, what I would say is that um, for those people who are interested in you know doing these type of journeys to interesting places around the world and in particular places that have spiritual uh, importance sacred spaces um, and places that have been influential this is definitely uh, a place you'd want to visit the, the shrine of the great Sufi saint Sidi Abdul Salam Ibn Mashish or Ibn Mashish known as Mawlana Abdul Salam in the northern uh, Rif uh, area of Morocco and uh, may you all give uh, a blessing that uh, facilitates you to visit this 
wonderful place. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.